guys. Um, I grew up, I grew up with this thing that I'm about to talk about. And then I, I, I saw it and I see it a lot. So, you know, um, my mom, <laughs> I don't know. My mom, let me tell y'all, uh, you know, by me being the only child for 10 years and I grew up with my mother, I learned so much. She just was a a, mo a woman of wisdom. And my mother went through so, 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 so much. Um, I thank God that God gave her beauty for ashes. And y often y'all going to hear me talk about um, her because she made such great influence on my life. Thank you, beautiful. So let me tell y'all something. It's something that my mother experienced that I am i didn't allow to pass down on me, but I understand why she felt like she felt. So y'all, after my father, because my father, huh, y'all should see my daddy in younger pictures. My daddy was fine, 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 and handsome, and my daddy knew how to dress. And my daddy had a good job, right? And my mother, you know, when him and my mom was together. So after my father and all the stuff she experienced with him, my mother, y'all, I, I just don't, I think later in her 50s, she was all right with talking to a handsome man. After my father, she forbid it having a handsome man like in her mind, because of what she went through with my father, like she was like, she always felt like all handsome men was just wasn't right. They weren't going to do it right. And it's only because, you know, a lot of people weren't big on talking and communicating and counseling, right? And so a lot of people make judgment based off their hurt. And my that's how my father felt about light-skinned women after my mom because they, I felt like they both needed to heal. My dad was like, he ain't at the, my, the the way that my mother looked and how she was shaped. He said he really didn't want a woman that was like that, the same. So him and my mom, because they both didn't heal. Like my daddy might have admired like a real beautiful woman, but he ain't want to fool with him. And my mother was the same way. So then they had me, right? So, uh, uh, my mother always attracted, you know, in our younger days, my mother, she attracted men because she was so beautiful. She attracted men with, you know, with that chatter, right? And so, um, she didn't care basically how, how they looked. Hey, Kimberly Green, um, how they look. Uh, so I grew up with wanting something different. I wanted something different. I was that little child will always watch couples. And I, I know that when I hear people talk about their relationships or, you know, I'm that person, you know, what drew you to them? The first thing a person say is they were different. And so, so many people get stuck with other people because they're different, but they turn out to be worse. Right. So, uh, I'm going to talk about myself. I remember, um, I, like I say, I never looked for drug dealers. Drug dealers was attracted to me. I didn't meet them when they had bossed up and really started making thousands. I would, I met them when they was make, you know, making like 1200, you know, 3000. I wasn't with them when they was making hundreds of thousands. Right. And so I remembered something. I remember, uh, finally, uh, meeting someone that didn't run the streets. Um, I met him in transition of selling uh, drugs. He was selling marijuana, but he shifted. He stopped selling marijuana because he knew that I told, I was like, I don't want another drug dealer. I want a man that works. And so I was ecstatic. I was like, Whew, he different. Like he's so different. Like I didn't know what it was for somebody to go with you and spend time versus somebody to just hand you money to get you out their face, to get your mouth closed or get you um, mad with them. Let me just give her this money so she can shut up. So she got, she don't, I don't want, we, we, you know, they don't know nothing about going to sit down in a restaurant, just chill unless they in a dog house or, you know, it's a holiday or things like that. So then I meet this guy that was willing to give me that stop selling drugs. Um, uh, spent time, went to the movies, took me on dates, held my hands, 
caressed me, loved to watch movies. Like, I was like, oh, he different. He different. And he was handsome. Good God Almighty. He knew how to dress. He knew how to smell good. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But listen, 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 listen. This is very important. The heart of a person matters. The heart, if I would have known what I've known now, and I preach it until I turn blue in the face of my girls. When a person don't have a good heart, get the hell on. See, he seemed different because he didn't run the streets. And he ain't had these women issues and, 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 and the drama waking up to it and this and that. I thought he was different, but he was no different. He was just sneakier. He was just moving a little quieter. You understand what I'm saying? He was just as deadly as the ones that was in the streets. He just was very, very sneaky. Understand? And his heart for me wasn't pure. Um, and I, I never forget, uh, uh, you know, I, I remember, you know, how he would have a problem with when I walked out of the door. I wanted to look nice. I was raised like that. And he had a problem with that. Like, like the real them started coming out once they know they got you. Understand? So I, I, I was, I, I was, I was falling in love more so with the different feel versus the person. And so I, I just felt like he was different. But the more comfortable he got with me, he showed me his heart was black. And a lot of y'all experience um, in, in, in our land besides someone with a black heart. Uh, they hate that you have family that love you. They hate that you have friends that love you. Um, they try to separate you and alienate you from people. The reason why they do that is because, um, number one, they don't want certain things that they're doing to get back to you. And number two, uh, they do that so they can mistreat you and you have burned so many bridges and can't go to people. But let me tell you about the people that love me for real, for real, honey. Let me tell you, when people love you for real, they can't tell you what to do. Because I understand this. When people think they in love, when people think it's oh so different, we ain't going to listen. We're not going to listen until something major happens. And so I'm that person. When I come out of different things, I try to help other people if I see something familiar. But I found out something. People will hate you for your knowledge. People will hate you for your wisdom. People will hate you for your understanding. Just because, and, and I go live, good afternoon, my brother. I go live and be transparent about me because I pray that some of my nuggets will open up somebody's eyes. I pray that my wisdom is something that might help you. And so I found out something is hard to love someone with a black heart. I remember trying to love somebody with a black heart. And, and and me loving, trying to love him, i never forget how I started breaking out in my face. I started having black spots and sh I was getting ugly. I was gaining weight. I didn't realize how the darkness was consuming me. And then I never forget, y'all, when I ended what I was in. I didn't stay. I couldn't worry. Let me tell you, it was like me versus me and me and, and, and me versus it was like, okay, it was three people I was in a battle with. I'm telling y'all. So it was the little girl, Joy. Whew. Excuse me. It was the little girl, Joy. Okay. When her daddy left. And she seen how hard it was for her mother. So she always wanted a husband. That was the, that was the little girl, Joy. And then it was the 18 year old joy through from 18 to 27. She was attracting men that didn't want the love that she was willing to give. And so then after the 27 year old joy, as she started shifting and became the single joy at 33, 
She started embracing the little girl joy, the things the little girl joy seen and what she went through. And then what the younger joy went through and then picking up life after trying to give her kids something that she didn't have, something that she longed for. Uh, and then I met the 33 year old to the 45 year old joy right now. And this is what the 45 year old would look back and tell the little girl joy. The 45-year-old Joy, y'all excuse me, would tell the little girl Joy that it's all right that your mother ran because she had to because she was running from her life. Your mother was tired of being beat. She no longer wanted you to see her being stomped and pushed down and had to fight and tell you to run. That's what the 45 year old Joy would tell the little Joy. And then the 45 year old Joy would tell Miss 18 to 27 year old Joy. It's all right that you are full of joy. Don't explain yourself to the person that you're trying to love and he's trying to dummy down who you are. He is jealous of your light shining. He's jealous of you having a pretty shape. He's jealous of your boobs being big and your butt being big. It's all right. You don't have to be with a man that don't want to receive all you. That's what the 45-year-old would tell the 20-something the joy. Understand this. And so if you're young, if you're young, you're in the middle of these ages. Joy is here to tell you it's all right. And when love don't love you back, when love can't accept all of you, when love don't want to help you go higher, let me tell you something. You got to know how to get on, you guys. Just because it's different from what you used to have don't mean they're better. Understand this. Some are sneakier. Some are treacherous. Some are trifling. When a person show you what they are. Get over it. Get over your daddy wasn't there. Get over your mother wasn't there. Get over some of y'all. Neither parents was there. Get over it. It doesn't mean that you have to accept the things that um, it's not normal just to portray that you got something normal and amazing going on. Y'all, you guys, I love my Facebook family. Excuse the emotions, but y'all know I don't hide any emotions. I'm glad that it came up. I'm glad that it came out because I'm on this joyful journey learning how to heal myself so that when I get in my next marriage, understand that he will not have to fight through the things that I've gone on through and let me tell y'all something it's so many y'all want to deal with people that could care less of the things you're going through if you can't be transparent with that person that you're trying to love you are with the wrong person i love you guys have an amazing day if this message bless you i have my cash app information up there my paypal information and my zelle information i see you guys later Mwah.